Central Illinois is the CI in CI Living. The holiday lights are shining brightly in the community this season, and you can go Homer for the holidays. <laughs> That's just a few things happening at Champaign Forest Preserve District. Lisa Sprinkle is here. Lisa, glad to have you here. It sounds like you guys are getting all sorts of festive for Homer for the holidays. What a cute Yes, name. we have a lot of different holiday events that are happening and the next one up is our homer for the holidays it is a cute i've always really yeah, liked that name that's so cute. That's <laughs> well so and you brought a craft that they're actually I going did. to be making so grace and i are going to get our craft mm -hmm. on today yes. so it looks like yes. you need a toilet paper or paper towel roll yes okay. um, either you can use either one if you have a paper towel roll here. you can cut it in half okay. um, and then these little popsicle sticks or craft yeah. sticks um, and then smear the crisco on All to, over the yes. sides. Yep. I might do my string first. Oh, maybe that was a smart idea. Well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see which way works best. Doing two um, this will just be one of the activities. Which, what are, are we even, what is um, this? This will be a bird feeder. Oh. It said okay. you can hang it up outside and think of the outdoor critters as you're preparing for the holidays. So just a little Crisco and bird feed. Yes. That's Cute. very simple. Yes. Um, and something people can try to make at home, too. Yes, and this will be, the one that they actually make on Saturday will be a little bit different. Um, okay. They'll use the craft sticks and make a little uh, stands for the birds to stand on, but this one I didn't want to get too technical, so we're Thank just you. doing this. <laughs> yeah, we need the basics. But they will also be making... Um, like handprint cardinal pictures, oh. stained glass pictures with uh, crepe paper or tissue paper, I guess, not oh, crepe fun. paper, and um, like drawing ornaments on what are called tree cookies, where just are little pieces of yeah. um, the trees cut into circles. Um, so lots of fun activities. It's from one until four at Salt Fork Center um, at Homer Lake in Homer, St. Okay. Joe area. Um, I'm gonna press because it's kind of getting a little Crisco-y. <laughs> I feel like um, yes. I'm like buttering a yeah. <laughs> sour, that's what it feels like. Yep, and then you okay. just press it into the bird seed. Cute. And then as it dries, it will just stay on there a little bit. Well, so at yeah. the beginning, it might be a little messy, okay. but okay. as it dries, it stays there and you can hang it out on one of your branches and the birds can come to feast. That is so cute. This is and so fun, so simple. Very simple. Yeah. Minimal ingredients. Yes. yes. Okay, coming up next, um, you got end of the year giving. What's What are we giving towards? Um, we have a couple really nice projects this year that um, we are receiving donations for. One is um, the International Dark Sky Park received a donation or a grant this year um, from the Open Space and Land Development, um, OSLAD. I forgot some letters in there, but um, <laughs> OSLAD, and it's with the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. Um, so with this grant, we will be building a mile trail, um, and it will have nodes and uh, in interpretive signs that will give information more about the dark skies and help to um, educate people about that. So it cool. will be very nice and it will also um, bring in some new campsites for the campgrounds oh, cool. that are up there and these will all be away from, uh, they're attached to the park but away from the park and it will be more friendly for dark sky viewing um, for the campers, for the viewers, for everybody in, involved. It will have its own entrance. It will be, we're very, very excited. Yeah. Um, so that is like a 50-50 grant. So we need to match the grant that we got. And then we're also, the botanical garden at the Museum of the Grand Prairie will be getting a new greenhouse. The greenhouse we have now is 50 plus years old. Um, so it will be going away and we'll be getting a new a new one in its place that will have educational space. It will have, it'll be 100% ADA accessible. Um, there will be features in there that we can use for public and for private. And it will have public restrooms, which is oh, a big nice. thing out there yeah. because if the museum is not open, people don't have that. Um, so those are two of the projects that we are yeah, working that on that people can help. yeah can give at the end of the year or just give an unrestricted donation and we are able to use that wherever it's needed. Absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like night lights is also something fun that's going on. Yes, Friday this is our Saturday. second year of night lights and the last two weekends have been wonderful. Um, great weather to come out. It gets a little chilly, but bundle up and um, it's Fridays and Saturday nights from four until eight at the 
Botanical Garden at the Museum of the Grand Prairie. Um, we ask that you, it's a free event, but we ask that you come and enter by the Museum of the Grand Prairie off of Route 47 because at 5 o'clock the rest of Lake of the Woods closes, so you can't drive through to get there. But it is, it's about a 15, 20, 25 minute walk through and it's beautiful, over 65,000 lights. Oh, wow. Well, very awesome. fun. Yes, it's yes. gorgeous. Get and just fresh air. Yes, and it is, it will be open on um, Christmas Eve and also on New Year's Eve. Oh, perfect. Nice. That's perfect. Okay. Well, they've also got great um, deals if you're looking for a gift for your golf enthusiast and the yeah. family. Um, unfortunately, we're out of time, but fun little craft here. Lots of fun happening with the Champaign County Forest Preserve District. District? District? <laughs> District and we'll connect you up. See you living on TV. All right.